Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither doeth corruption inherit incorruption. 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And that change is going to come, us being on earth in these terrestrial bodies, when this destruction of Babylon takes place, when the end of the world comes, when Armageddon takes place, the elect shall be beamed up into what Esau refers to as UFOs, unidentifiable flying objects, which are the chariots of Israel. Who will be operating these chariots? The angels. They will assume their supernatural bodies, extraterrestrial bodies, because they will transform from the celestial, spiritual, heavenly, to a supernatural body. So we will be like the angels. That's also in the scriptures. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the last trump is the seventh trump, which is spoken of in the book of Revelation, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, talking about the physically dead, the men of the Lord that died doing this work, they got old and died, they got sick and died, they're going to be raised first, they're going to be beamed up, their bodies are going to rematerialize, come out those graves, have a terrestrial body and they're going to be beamed up into these ships, these chariots and then the ones of us that are alive we're also going to be beamed up and our bodies are going to be changed into supernatural bodies extraterrestrial bodies and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal, mortal mean to die, must put on immortality. We're not going to die. Superman, 54. So when this corruptible, our bodies shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal, this only points to the Israelites, starting with the elect, and then the rest of Israel because all Israel will have these extraterrestrial supernatural bodies that are able to go from the spiritual realm to the physical realm and this mortal shall have put on immortality which means not to die then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory 55th verse O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Because we're not going to die. The sting of death is sin, and we're not going to sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself.